I am not feeling 100%, but um, I think it's fine. Uh, Kodo, Kodo's good. After all that, it didn't even make 10 wins. <laughs> That's true, didn't make 10 wins, but... Okay with that. Uh, Buccaneer, yes. Valiant, so good. Mage is more consistent. I just like I just like this. It's just really fun. Um, I always have more fun with uh, Rogue. Valiant, Auto Barber. I'll go with an Auto Barber, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Diversify a little bit. You could pick all of these, honestly. Um, so the question is just, do you want some size right now? Hmm, this is tough. But we already have so much early game. Uh, I will go with a uh, another option. Storm Champ is just a sick card. Rogue Ninja is really good. Imp Master, not bad as well. I've been getting, gaining more and more respect for Ogre Ninja. It's just so big, right? It's a big card. The only problem, if you, there is a problem to it, is um, Shadow Pan is in the same slot. So you don't want to, um, you don't want to double up. I'll take Imp Master for that reason. Pit Snake is good. Cold Blood, Silver Hand Regent. Uh, Silver Hand Regent is not bad. I'll go with that. I don't hate Cold Blood either, but I'll go with the slightly more consistent card. Go with the Mech Warper. Um, Worgen is good. I don't want. Oh, Fan is excellent. Hmm. We could actually use some size in here. Like, I'm a little bit afraid of just grabbing so many twos. Kind of want to take the Lost Toss Rider here, but we could just say we're going to go YOLO aggro. Well, let's go YOLO aggro. Damn, Undercity Valiant is crazy good. Let's go Shadow Pen here for some size. <laughs> Cogmaster's Wrench is gonna be no. I can go with the Genie. Skulker. You could use some card draw, but man, Dragonhawk puts so much pressure when we have uh, stuff behind it. Yeah, I'll go with that. Cold Blood? <laughs> synergy, synergy with Genie? Mooklas is awkward. It really is awkward. Um, you have all of these sort of big drops, right? It definitely fits in the deck. Oh my gosh, Hecor. Uh, I'll take the Pyro here. Ooh, premiums. Auto Barber. It's gotta be Backstab here. Yormonger? Sure. Crusader? Man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I do have eight two drops, so that makes up for the lack of fours. Uh, Tomb Pillager is doing good, but man, Deadly Poison is fantastic too. I think I'm gonna take the poison. Sure. Sure. Wow, okay. Buy some compressor and blow out your PC sometimes, it helps a lot. That's true, I should upkeep it better. Um, this new one, I'm gonna upkeep it better. This old one, I kind of, you kind of reach that point where 
you're like, oh, I should take better care of this. And it's already four years in, so you're like, mm, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Bunch of us are watching the football game along with the stream. Nice. Excellent. Just provide me with some uh, updates every once in a while. This is not the worst hand. I'm okay with this. I know that mentality, Murps. Yep. Natasha would know. The pleasure is mine. Okay. Coin out a creeper. It's pretty decent. Reporting for duty. Actually, don't mind if it's a uh, noble sack. More power next turn is good. Here we go. Because a lot of the times we're just gonna um, deadly and uh, you know like redagger deadly anyways. But this way, um, I do like having uh, more options out there. And if it wasn't Noble Sack, then uh, you just save the Diver Charge, and that's really good. Hmm. So you could go for Max Tempo here. So you could do something like Backstab, Buccaneer, Hero Power. That is really strong. Or you could 3 and then 1. I could also just do this. Nah. Feed the fish, land lover. Here we go. Okay. Even if he consecrates here, that's okay. We'll just heck where, and then uh, we're in, still in a decent spot. <laughs> Silky, yeah. Um, it really is. I mean, this just really, really stinks, right? Two, three, four, five, six. We are not going to push everything into that. We just can't. At the same time, if he does something like. Your mother was a fine. I'm not pushing everything into that. There are definitely punishes here. Most definitely. But I don't. I, I can't. I can't live with myself if I pushed everything into that thing. <laughs> Murps, what did you think of Star Wars? Because not everyone has seen it yet, I will just say uh, I thought it was awesome. And leave it at that. Okay. Reporting for duty. That sounds good. Here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are I'm never gonna hear the end of this, really. Reporting for duty. Let's 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I wonder. Sure. Otherwise, you could do hero power. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eh. Could do that and prevent him from doing anything. I think developing the board is just fine. I kind of want to just develop the board and then sort of protect behind it, right? You could do it the other way and just get a huge weapon immediately. Answer the call I didn't think he had a great response to what we had before, so this is just sort of safe, right? Months. Thank you so much, man. I just realized I can't see anything with this here. That should be better. Thank you so much for your continued support. Welcome back, man. I should turn on this other thing. I am just so ugh, disoriented today. But, yeah. Remember, guys, send me those updates about the game. I am curious about it. Trogzor, 9, 12, 12, 17. Yay! Well Ash Cash, 147, new sub hype. Thank you, man. Welcome to the Green and Goat. Thank you so much. <laughs> Which game? I'm talking about the uh, national championship game, Clemson, Alabama. Erasmus! Three, five, four, five months. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate you jumping on the sub train. Another paladin. So fun. Fan. No, I just want early minions. Early minions will be the winning play. Pronounced Zytex Murps. Sorry, man. Zytex. I'm. It's. I'm not good at this stuff. <laughs> what can I say? Point out that. This is fine. Save the coin. I was thinking of some other coin play, but Piss Snake on one versus a non ping class is just so good. For duty. There we go. <laughs> Lyroth makes a great point. You uh you want to hear Adwick to pronounce things or you don't. You know, you probably just don't. Not on my watch. Ooh. Okay, he just wants to give that to us. I will accept that. I will readily accept that. Sure. Just giving that to us. And you like to play with fire? I think this is the best route. So we have three, four, five attack going into turn four, which is still fine. Um, Mech Warper would have been fine as well. It's just uh, I don't think we need the one extra attack. It's okay. It ends up being like the same thing, right? So. Here we boom. Boom. Okay. Murps, do you have an own account? Um, well, I have my own Hearthstone account. I don't have 
uh, you can click on my name and see that I have a Twitch account, right? But I don't have a Twitch channel. Like I don't stream on that channel. Advocate and I both stream on this channel. And we're uh, we're actually gonna talk to Twitch, possibly get it changed to just the Grinning Goat channel. So it's not just Team Advocate, you know? Yeah, this is just sort of better, right? This is just sort of better. I wonder. Hey, I can see my Here we go. <laughs> cool. Mr. Zangler, what's up, man? The adult is such an easy to remember name. Dude, this is okay. You can't really blame Adukta because you, you would have to time travel back to when he was like an awkward 6th grader and just be like, Hey man, one day you're going to be streaming and you probably don't want that name. Genie? Yeah, we have some... I'll do that. It's a, a question of whether or not you want to save a 2 1. This is more valuable than 2 1. No shady today? Not today, man. Can't be shady every single day. This is a situation that I don't want. I'm like, oh man, if he drops one minion, we're okay. But, yeah, I'll just he does something like that. Wow, yeah, Paladins. So good. OP card, OP card. Yep, hit face. Let's reverse push now. What lurks? Leave this place. Serious, serious. Next turn, we could hero power deadly shadow pan. How much damage does that put out? Um, so hero power, and then three. So this is 6, 10, 13, boom, 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 okay, all right. Blood and plunder. Oh, that's enough. Oh, this is really annoying. 6, 9. to kill that to kill that I wonder. her power deadly hit that hit that this becomes a six two more 13 we threaten lethal and we're okay okay Okay, so we do set up lethal for next turn. Um, he needs seven damage from hand to kill us. It's pretty rare. None may steal oh, why not? <sighs> Earthen ring. God, you're so ridiculous, dude. Smart hit. Oh, you could. You could, right? 
I'll risk the one damage. Because it's either one damage or four damage. And a lot of it is good. There's going to be a lot of overlap in there. Well met. Okay, well played. Well played. Well met. Good game. Yeah, so I didn't like it. It was dangerous, right? But uh, the overlap of lots of times the Paladin, like, what's the most likely source of damage? Like, the only one there that really sort of mat. Most of the time, you're going to get killed by Kings or True Silver, anyways. So, yeah. He could have an Elven Archer. He could have, like, a Blue Gill Warrior. Those are all possible, but mm, you gotta take risks sometimes. Because if you do it the other way, um, it's too easy for him to remove, right? He removes and then suddenly, I'm just like, it's you set up a board that's too easy for him to remove and then you just lose. I'm like, I might as well just push you this turn and if you have it, you have it, rather than me just sort of dancing this way and maybe you have it, you know? I will fight with honor. Luminica uh, speaks the truth. Um, it's a good hand. Same guy. Not the same guy, right? Nope, not the same guy. Play to win versus stay alive? Yeah, I kind of like that. It's kind of like that. So I'll actually hit into it first, because I prefer to drop something, obviously. Um, but if it... So I, I'm risking one more damage on the on the Chow and saying it doesn't matter, just for the chance. Okay, that's fine. Here we go. So if you know 100% it's Noble Sack, then uh, you obviously, like, you're like, oh, okay, we'll save a health on the Chow, right? But if you are not sure, and you'd rather drop something, you can hit into it first. And just say, okay. Ah. Muster though? Yeah, I mean, muster makes a difference, but it's the difference between one of the one ones or one more hit on his face, right? Um, but the risk that you take to do it, like you can't just say, oh, because of muster, it's you you can't make the play for him, right? You can't just be like, oh, okay, he's got muster, so I can't can't do this. What is your opinion on Keeper of Older Man's rarity? It is ridiculous. It should not be that rare. I, I mean, like, common, you know? It just shouldn't be a common. Options. 
too soon. This is fine. There's a, actually a lot to consider there. Some of you are saying consecration. True silver doesn't matter. True silver is the exact same thing, right? Um, this is still basically the same thing. We lose a little bit of health on this, but what this does do is um, it does open it up for the Skulker, right? So if he doesn't want to do something, fine. Two, 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 two. What lurks in the depths? Okay. So by not not clearing and playing that, true silver doesn't matter. Him playing True Silver and killing the 5-4 is like, whatever, right? Hmm. Play this, this is zero. One. Two, three, zero, two. It's good to see you again. Terran Lassar, four months. Thank you so much, man. I need to move this a little bit lower so I can see. Thank you so much for coming back. This thing it's just resistant to a lot of stuff high attack which i like right now keeper's annoying because it's a three four so it doesn't trade You're the deep mon minion i know right it's so annoying it really is super annoying i hate it so much doing so this is fine consecration still doesn't do much against us right it's a good card for him definitely he gets to clear uh like he gets to clear the three one the one one and the uh shield of this thing and brings this guy down to one but like we still have a not great consecration board he needs like double consecration mm. and if he has double consecration i'm like okay you have double consecration well met That's fine. We're going to be able to push in a bit of damage here. Alright. Ha! Is this first round 110? Yep, this is. Oh. Four, five, six, nine. Uh, yeah, let's go. Hmm. Behind you. Let's 
Ones one ones are really annoying. Don't want them around. Yeah, value city. Not really. Like you clear the one ones. It's really good in this instance, but it's not supremely good, right? You need a lot to save you, man. If you have a taunt, I guess you could. Like after this. Let's see. Start. Okay. Well played. <laughs> Called Delarone, it just look, you're in the arena and crazy stuff is gonna happen. We talked about this on the Life Forge recently. Arena is just getting harder and harder. Especially um You guys know Advocate and I, we like to play sort of all the classes. Every time I pick something like hunter or priest or shaman i'm just like what's the point of this it's just such an uphill battle you know like playing paladin rogue oh, all this stuff it's so much easier What a pickup. You see a three mech warper, three harvest golem, turn three? Yeah, I did. <laughs> That's uh, pretty crazy, I have to say. Stop at Murps, I just went 12-2 with Shaman. Congrats, man. It's not easy these days. Is that all you're gonna do? Hero power? Next turn might be our huge swing turn. We'll see about this. Okay. So many options. <sighs> Pretty curious about this rogue's plays, but it's cool. Gotcha. I wonder. Here we go. Kind of like this, we set up. We set up for not only the um, auto barber, we set up for the blade flurry, we set up for a lot of things, and we still make the clear. So, but that turn was. Um, I was really concentrating, I was like, okay, we could do so many things here, right? You could do the Pit Snake to try to force him to hit. You could do uh, you could do an Auto Barber play of your own, right? But because we have something like a Blade Fury on our hand, I thought this was fine. Cool. I wonder. The battle! I think this always goes here. Soon. 
Here we go. Here we go. Like this a little bit better you save the flurry because you don't actually need it this turn a flurry whatever comes out next turn i was thinking of just doing that to push damage but it's so easily countered by something else he has right and while we don't have a board i'm just going to rely on what we draw next turn face flurry pit snake yeah see i thought of that but all that does is like push more damage and what do we do with his next turn right it's so weird we just don't have really a strong play for next turn but meanwhile, Flurry is going to be stronger for the next turn. Okay. Alright, maybe not. <sighs> maybe I was a little bit too optimistic and- oh, go face. Wow, he doesn't go face there. I'm actually surprised. We'll take this slow as well. Cool. Should play some StarCraft or APM is way too low. I got my move in. Like that was what I wanted. Um and I'm just trying to use my uh my entire turn to think through everything. Is this mirror arena? I don't know, man. This rogue is uh like, same strats, right? Hmm. Behold the might of this guy has been playing, kind of just like playing around my hand beautifully, right? I'm not saying that was intentional. That he's playing around my hand but could just be like wow he is just really uh okay. one off gonna try to hopefully push for reverse lethal here it's this he's down to nine nine and then six we're always a little bit off but we can try Ugh, feels bad to be one-off lethal all the freaking time. Okay. Rehero power. Enter the shadows. That's bad. That's good. Really tough game, right? Super tough game. Just, um, he just, we just never had the answers. And then, uh, we saw a way to win and we took it, right? You just took the only play that you possibly could. So. Yeah. Um, so you'll see quite a few players do it. Um, Hafu does it sometimes, like, not all. Oh, not always. Ratsma does it sometimes as well. I don't always do it as well, but during times like that when I'm just like, okay, let's let's make sure that uh, we get this right. Okay, 
We're probably going to make Buccaneer our turn 3 play. I don't want to give him a... Um, I don't want to give him a coin play, you know? Oh my gosh, I'm facing Twitch. I'm facing you guys. You guys all just collectively stream snipe me. Congrats, guys. How's it feel? Feels good? Mm hmm. You love my new recipe. Thank you. Yeah, if we could force him to ping, that would be pretty fantastic. Streams in our sights. You guys all collectively stream snipe me. What's your move here? Uh, guys, what's your play? This is Twitch plays, uh, or Twitch... Oh. Oh. How interesting. How very, very interesting. Cool. We'll kill this off, um, but you guys can see what I'm talking about. So someone at the beginning of the stream mentioned, like, oh, you get to kill for free with a dagger, right? But you can see it wasn't for free. Pretend um, us having the 2-1 dagger is like us having a tournament attendee or a Murloc Raider on the board, right? And we just had to use it to bump it in. So we actually decreased the power of our board by 2 attack. So um, never think that your weapon is free. It's an investment, right? And now he fireballs, and in this case, a Yeti was better, right? Because he probably would have fireballed the Yeti anyways. Well met. Reporting for duty. Her deck is four pyroblasts in it. You're dead on turn 14. <laughs> All right, sounds good, man. I, I hope you have four pyroblasts in hand. I really do. I hope you just have four pyroblasts and two krakens. Like these are just two krakens, four pyroblasts. Well met. Oh, oh, look at this. So fancy. Reporting for two. I'll kill it. There's uh, like Dark Iron Dwarf considerations. Four Pyro, two Emperors? Okay, maybe I don't like that so much. <laughs> Alright, if you guys have four Pyros, I gotta start killing you guys off fast. So fast. Mm. Drop, um... Oh, ew. Look at this disgusting mage. Uh, we could play right into Flame Strike, right? This is sort of what he wants. Because your alternative is to Boulder Fist Ogre. Hit, hit, hit. And dare him to have another big removal. Then again, if he flame strikes, what do we do? We Ogre and we Mech Warper and we force him to respond again? So many yeah, I'm okay options. with that.
Because if he flame strikes, he's we just took two of his cards away from. Uh, We just took two of his cards away, right? So he flame strikes, and we are still up on cards. Cone. Something okay. needs tinkering. Here we go. I've got a huge guy. All right. Tell me, Twitch chat, do you guys have that flame strike? Huh? Job's done. It didn't seem like you guys did, but if you do, well, probably could use it right now. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, we're one off lethal, we could track for it, that's cool. I have six more fireballs. All right, but we agreed to let you win for a hundred bucks. I think that's uh okay. All right, cool, cool. Twitch chat, your check is in the mail. Why not creeper there instead of dagger? Um, oh, for that turn. I, uh, wait, I don't remember exactly which turn you're talking about, um, can you just tell me? If it was the one in which I still had the Silverhand Regent out, uh, it basically is like playing, uh, Creeper, right? You get a 1-1, one, one, you also get the other thing, so it's pretty good. I'm gonna keep this. Unfortunately, Pit Snake is really vulnerable to coin, um, uh, coin Cruel Taskmaster, but... It's just what you gotta do. Murps bullied us. Sorry, Luminaires. I'm just a big old bully. No matter what, we're definitely not... Okay, so obviously you're not playing the Valiant. You're not. You're also not playing the Toad because of Cleave. So it's really just Creeper and Hit, in which case that's okay. Or I'm okay with slowing down a little bit here and just playing something like... Uh, yeah. I think now is when we just slow down. Um, and then we can Barber next turn, right? If he throws something like a 3-2 at us or, or whatever. Um, even if he doesn't, we're probably just going to Barber anyways for value. So... It's fine. You slow down a tiny bit here, but that's going to be okay. Okay, that's fine. We're still uh, Barber here. Get as much initiative as possible. Because you could Creeper there and be sneaky, right? But then the next turn you really only have three attack, and he still has the coin, so. Okay. This 
So we're going into turn and then three, four, five, six. So many <sighs> Victory for Silvanus. Cool. So we still play around Cleave. We um five six attack going into his potential coin turn five so that should be enough to take care of almost anything we got skulker coming up that's awesome Oh yeah, J-Pad, I think uh, someone else gave the answer to you. Uh, whoever did that, thanks a lot. Super appreciate it. Hit, hit. And then... So many options. Mech Warper Toad. Mech Warper Toad is the most tempo. Um, heck, or just kind of dies to a weapon, right? It just dies to, um, it plays too well into the Arcanite. That is a problem. Here we go. Murps thanked me. Thank you once again, Ryu. You're awesome, man. Salty dog. I see. I very much see. Because uh, you could just hit, hit, hit. And then just save this for another time. Because if you hit this, it misses. You do that, you do that. So what do you have? You have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if you just do this, hit, 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 you have ten, but like, so you, you guarantee the ten like that. It's fine. We're not rushing him down. We don't need to re-dagger this turn, and we're probably, so let's just go for it. Oh, Murphs is a real bro. It's, yep, there it is with the. Uh, I don't know if he. I couldn't see if he top decked that, but that was always our fear of the Arcanine, right? Of uh, something like that. Actually, still don't need to use this. Um, cause we probably are just gonna Skulker Valiant next turn. Um, yeah, we'll hold for a little bit. Try to understand how they do more than one win. Um, yeah, uh, if you're having trouble getting to... My shield for Argus! Okay. We never have a lethal. So many options. Here we 
Uh, we're out of steam soon? Uh, we're still really okay. Like, we really are. Oh, 13. We have lethal. Maybe not. Bash execute. What? Oh, he just wants armor. I see. Got it. What works? That makes sense. That did save him. Touchdown Alabama? Nice, thanks man. Not nice as in like, woohoo, I'm all for Alabama. I just want to know the score of the game. ZD man, appreciate it. Nate White one welcome to the channel. Good evening to you as well. Would have pushed the six face damage. Uh, what was it? I forgot what turn you're talking about. Sorry, man. Valera versus Jaina. You asked for it. Watch your. Hmm. Merp, show us your abs. Dude, I don't have any abs right now at this season. That's probably going to be late springtime when I try to cut. So here I probably am playing the snake on turn one. Um, the difference is what you have in the rest of your hand, right? So let's differentiate this between the other time. Um, it was, I forgot exactly what I had, but I was just like, eh, it just doesn't exactly work out. Here, if you play the pit snake on turn one, he could coin ping, I play a two. If he has a removal, that really sucks. It, it really does. But if he does have a removal, then uh, if he does, if he just drops something, then we deadly poison and we push face and that's how we gain the advantage, so. That's the difference between last turn and this turn. We have this turn planned out, right? The other one just didn't look as clean as this one. So if you give him that play, um, if you don't have good follow-ups to this, then what's the point, right? Wow. That is very interesting. Traded one drop for one drop. Oh, ill. Oh no, you have other mechs. You're you're just the worst, man. I would love for him to ping on three. I would love to, for him to ping on three, right? So Scarlet Crusader, ping that. The problem is we can't deadly then. So people are saying, oh, just Crusader and kill Chugga. You just Crusader and kill Chugga and he puts out a Yeti and we are screwed as well, right? That's the problem with this. Like you want to kill both of them. Because I don't like both of them present an issue. If one was just a vanilla 2 3, like a river croc, I would put out Scar Crusader instantly. Um, but it's not the case. If you don't kill the Freezy guy and you don't, you're not able to use your 
um, worry, dagger man. next the turn, it really here. sucks, right? definitely coming out so you could ping 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 hit so many options nope just finished a 12 win run zembrez congrats man that's awesome what was uh what was your class <laughs> well played. So many options. Got a waste weapon? You actually don't have to. Because assuming that he has to do bop bop, we fan, and we're probably able to use this. So you're basically saying like, okay, we're gonna get rid of this and grab a 1-1. One, one. I say you do not have to. Well met. So you he either you either hit this, do that, he ping pings, and you have this awkward 1-1 one, one weapon and like that thing, or you just don't hit, he hit hits and then you fan, and then you hit with this weapon, I think that's better. So, it's easy to think that, like, oh man, I gotta spend my mana, I have to do this, I have to do that. You never have to. Um, because if you look at our next turn, we're not playing the Jormongar. There we go. See? Here we go. better, right? So it seemed like we had to, well, for, you can look at it and be like, oh man, all right, so I got a hit and I got a redagger. You don't have to. Um, it, it, it's such like, it, it seems like such an intuitive play. You're like, oh, I, I got to do this. I got to do that. Uh, you don't have to. I have no read on big removal or flame strike, right? He only has two cards in his hand. Crap. It's really awkward either way. I'm gonna play into the flame strike, and um, uh, you bump the one one in definitely because if you flame strike and goes face, you want your Jormungar to actually challenge this thing. But I'll challenge him to have the flame strike more than um, just one hard removal. Like it's it's pick your poison here, right? Okay, good. What to do? <laughs> <laughs> Thinking this too much, one is Flame Strike, the other is Polly um, or Flame Lance. Maybe that's it, man. Okay. 
We have one big minion out. Uh, he's probably just gonna kill the Chow. That's the most value oriented. There we go. Oh, we played around it. Oh, there we go. Just kill the Chow. Don't hit my face. Just kill the Chow. Oh, hi. Um, I actually will play this, because we don't really want to use our face anymore, but we just want the, uh, the body out there. So we want the initiative from the auto barber more so than um, just this thing. Because, like, I don't want to use my face anymore. So, Meyer, how you're playing this out, Murps? Thanks, man. That sucks. Wow. Okay. can't trade we don't have eviscerates but we have to hope we okay we actually have to hope that like he kills the stormwind champ right or he kills this and then we figure out some way to kill that it's if you trade here you're dead you're absolutely 100 percent dead so you actually can't trade No. <laughs> I was thinking, I'm like, okay, what is a potential out? Flame Leviathan. That's how much I'm thinking of this right now, but you can't. Okay. You're just dead. Yeah. Flame Leviathan. You're still dead when that happens. Okay. That was unfortunate, but um, so that turn when we played around either Flame Strike or Flame Lands, we were actually correct. We were actually correct to play around the big removal rather than the Flame Strike. Um, it was kind of a gut feeling uh, when you just play a lot of Arena. You just you see the moves, you see, and then it, this could all just be um, ex post, right? Um, I could just be saying, "Oh, of course, I guessed right," and it was because I had intuition. Um, you never know. Flame of Eyes Thin is really thinking outside the box. Yep, it is. Where is Advocta? Go USA 2016. Uh, Advocta will not be on tonight. It's just me. Just the Merps. Valir versus Jaina. You asked for it. Nope, not the same guy. We have a backstab. It's ridiculous. This overhand region and then hero power deadly. 
so many options. If he has a removal, that kind of sucks. But then you can also just Dragon Hawk Rider. Do that. You don't have a good turn four play though. If you just coin dagger, you have a chance of standing up to his turn much better. No. So here's the thought process that ended up with me doing this play instead. If you do that, first of all, not only are you opening yourself up to removal, which I don't think he has, so it's not actually a huge consideration. The problem with the Silverhand Regent, as you see, if you trade, coin out the Silverhand Regent, Hero Power and Deadly Poison, which is fantastic, right? You love that play. The only problem with that play is the mere fact that... Um... Backstab. Hmm. Do this. Well met. So you, uh, if you put out this overhand regent. He puts something else out, right? And then you, like, hero power dagger. You might have to use the backstab in an inefficient way if he puts out something like a spider tank, right? It, it just could... Whoa! Okay. Excellent. <sighs> Why regent over dragon hawk? With Dragonhawk, you're trying to push damage, right? With uh, Regent, you think, well, what are my chances of hero powering next turn? If they're actually decent, then... Okay. What works? If it's actually decent, then... Um... Uh, oh my gosh, I forgot what I'm talking about. You're in trouble now. Okay, this is fine. Okay, cool. He has one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. We outcard him and we have the board. Alabama just missed a field goal, score 7-7. Seven, seven. Thanks a lot, man. Really appreciate that. So many options. Don't love the flame strike here, but here we go. I'm not gonna play the valiant. He flame strikes here. We set up with uh, probably just a Dromungar, but that is kind of the what he needs to come back because then his quality of cards could be higher than ours, and we could be in trouble, right? Yep. Got him a flame strike. Okay. My shield for Argus. That seems so suspicious.
why not trade in mm -hmm. Chow and Ogre, then capture Jormungar? Because um, it depends on how afraid you are of the Flame Strike, right? If you're really afraid of the Flame Strike, then you do that. But I'm like, there's not a, a guaranteed chance he has it. Here we go. Definitely goes face. I'm okay with playing a little bit safe here. It, it just seems like he's trying to set up for a second flame strike. Because he just did that, and then that that's not really a move that you do. Like, why would you do that, right? You require my assistance. What? This sucks so badly. We just lost. Aha. Why wouldn't you just use double fireball? Unless you had the flame strike, in which case I was right. Oh god. Yep, now you're just gonna go face. Of course. Why wouldn't you? So if we don't kill him this turn, we're dead, right? Eight, eleven. Well, join us in death. Here we go. Oh, my God. Dude. Why wouldn't you play safe there? Why did you go fancy with the arcane intellect and the uh... Why'd you draw cards? What cards are you drawing, dude? You could draw fireballs by just fireballing. Fireball my 5-4, fireball the other big guy, ping down my 5-1, go face. Watch your what? Back. Wow. Dude, why would you do that? Thought for sure that was Ice Block? Yeah, me too. I was like, it's the only one that makes sense. Alright, power out that Harvest Golem. <sighs> why do I call these things? Oh, why do I ever call these things, man? Here we go. I'd love to kill up the Mech Warper, but I want this one damage to matter. So we gotta hope he doesn't have a four mana mech. The chances are not huge, but <laughs> uh, did he add you? Um, yes, he did. I'm playing a game. We're just not gonna. Mm. Fourteen to seven, Clemson. Cool. Thanks, man.
Okay. Oh, he has true silver. He has true silver. Uh, true silver Rex is here. But can't anti tempo with uh, dagger and huge toad. Okay, let's. Skulker doesn't actually do that much here. We're gonna take a risky route. Uh, we are gonna walk into consecration, but we're gonna hope he doesn't have consecration and set up for the uh, set up for the Skulker play. Here we go. Because there's actually no way you can full clear even with the Skulker. So there's no kind of benefit with that. Wants to rage about Murps' top deck, probably? Maybe. We all want to hear what he has to say. All right, I added him. Quality. Murph's just got my fourth 12 win run. I learned so much from you at Advocate. Thanks. No problem, man. I'm glad. Glad people are finding success. Good guy opponent, good guy opponent. This chit chat is not going to convince us this is not a win trade. I can't convince you guys. You guys already know in your heart of hearts exactly what's going on. Give me a quest. The light protects me. 11, 12, 13, four, oh, never mind. Never mind. has one card i don't think he can kill me and there's only so many ways he can heal right or just do stuff in general so um and this is basically a five five um i'm not worried about him like chaining cards to make this huge so we're just gonna go face yeah guys we don't actually have the lethal we're one off Mm -hmm. 
So let's see, what's kind of a best case scenario here? He can't even have Deathwing, right? No Deathwing. Um, so what, Defender of Argus? This turns into a 6-6. Six, six. He uses 6-6 six, six to like kill this, I guess? And then we kill, kill, we're still in a good position. It's... Deathwing saves him. He can't play Deathwing, it's turn 9. No, you were 2 off, you only got 1 hit on Dagger and needed Dagger to Blade Flurry. No, you could Blade for Flurry first and then re-Dagger and hit. Reno could still save him. Valia Reno would save him for a turn. I must protect the one. Watch your back. Oh yeah, I'm good with this hand. Okay, so once again, uh, because this is an educational stream, we'll go through it one more time. Do you play pit spy? Uh, Pit Spider. Pit Snake on turn one. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, you do. You play Pit Spider. So many pit options. Snake on turn one because you can see how the other plays smooth out, right? It's such a smooth curve after this. You play Mech Warper after that. Oh, don't Mad Bomber. Another night on the prowl. Oh, okay. Smooth it happens, man. Feed the fish, like you always got smooth. Lethal, lethal. Pit Murps. I like to see that. Pit Spider, turn one. Should have dagger that turn. Tycho, I will actually agree with you. That was uh, that was actually a better play. I I was just um, I was thinking too much about dumb Pit Spider. No, I totally agree with you, Tycho. Um, I should have just done that, and then I could have played uh, both on turn three. That would have actually been a much better play. So I, I think I severely misplayed turn two there. I was just focusing too much on my mess up of pronunciation. And that could really come back to bite me, you know? Because uh, that play would have been much stronger. So good catch. Hmm. Take a walk on the wild side. Why not cold blood? Why? For the crusade! Here we go. Okay. We'll do that. Um, we're still in a decent spot, even though, uh, in spite of the misplay on turn two. Push face damage, make him use mana for removal. You could do that as well. Um, I think we're still in a decent spot here. You always have to do this balance, right? If I think I'm using way too much resources to clear, I don't like it. But clearing, kind of redaggering, we have eight power on turn five. That's something I'll take.
That's a play. Got some good value out of the Buccaneer. Yep, I think so too. Yeah. So, are there counterplays to this? Oh, definitely. There definitely are. But, um, it does put us in a good spot. Scar Crusader is very weird for him. That uses two mana. Murph Snow's face. Yeah, I do. Trading there is just dumb. You don't trade there. It ain't easy to stop you here. It's not easy. There are answers, right? Definitely there are answers. Um, if he has some sort of like pyromancer play of his own, um, sure. Okay, good game. So we survived. And um, made a good play at the end. Could have played three naturalized for punish. That would have been so punishing. I would have probably died because of the temple loss, you know? That's why naturalized is not bad at all. Trading would serve no purpose other than to play into a board clear. I agree. Ooh, High Wind Hunter. This could be interesting. Watch your back. Keep these two. Um, it seems like we have a 1, 2, 3, 4 play. Uh, but I would toss away the Heckler for more flexibility. I will keep the Scarlet Crusader, though. Mm, that's not a card I want. I don't want to see that card for a long time. Feed the fish, lover. Yep. Drag no stupid. Try to keep this alive. I'm trying to evaluate what's more valuable at this point: backstab or the two-one. Probably just the two-one. We can push with the two-one backstab. Like, who knows when it's going to? I, I, if you gave me all the scenarios and said this specific scenario was going to happen next turn, I could probably say, yeah, sure, it's better. Um, but I want to see what he has in turn two. Like, did he just coin that out to try to say, okay, you got nothing. Now I can play a weak turn two. I don't know, like, I, I want to kind of force his hand here. Bam. Nice. For the crusade! Oh, oh. Alright. I know those of you saying wrong order are just trolling me. It's not gonna work. Hmm. 
guys, don't, don't, just be quiet, okay? Don't, everyone stay calm. Just chill. Shh, shh, calm down. The light protects me. Just don't, don't let him know. Uh, what you want? Oh no, why? Uh, you're such a jerk, man. Pretty sad, guys. That was gonna work, right? That was totally gonna work. Jeez. Damn it. Victory for Sylvanas. Yep. Glass silver. That's exactly what he says. Murph's still doing the 10 and 100. Yep. I'm doing the challenge. This is the first run. So. We're off to a decent start. Can you explain that play? Why wait for it? Because I want to push with um, the one ones are actually really good against my board, right? Uh, both the Crusader and the Buccaneer, it's uh, it's kind of vulnerable to that. And the Flurry actually does something there. Um, it gets rid of these things that are really, really. Um, this is a little bit slow. We have ones. So I don't mind the dagger and then, yep, let's go faster. We have ones. Uh, this is a better three. I'm happy with it. I think playing the Valiant into Unleash the Hounds there was a calculated risk reward. If he has Unleash, he could always kill by it, my thing, right? So it's sort of a... Uh... If he has Unleashed there, he could always kill my Crusader, and I just want to push more damage next turn. So, if he has Unleashed, I actually do want the 3-2 out there. <laughs> Merp, shouldn't you always start the run like a 10-plus Shaman, Priest, or Warrior decks that need around until we decent cards to get to 10-plus? No, you actually want to... Uh... I think I always do hit into this. Because you could say, well, why do you hit into this? He could just clear this with, like, um, something else. Well, we always have a... Like, this always happens. So. Alright, he's deciding to push. Join or die. Join or die. Here we go. Here we go. Do this. I'll do this in case of that. And then, oh man. Crap. I want to hit the 2 1 because of um, Shield Bearer, but I forgot. This thing can pull out a Pit Snake now. Alright, well, if it's a Pit Snake, it's a Pit Snake, I guess. Don't oh, jinx it. So before, because I'm stuck in the old style of thinking, right? Where you want to make sure that you always played around, um, where you always played around something like annoying, like Shield Bearer or Void Walker. But now Pit Snake is Pit Spider. Oh my gosh, I keep on. I'm 
the worst, guys. I am officially just the worst. Don't. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. <sighs> just don't. Stop. Don't. I just. I deserve to be made fun of. Okay. Ugh. <sighs> Um, so yeah, for the other person who say, shouldn't you play bad classes, you should actually play the best classes first. Because there's a chance, if you play Paladin, Rogue, and Mage, there's a chance on the fourth one that you just get, uh, nope, nope, nope! Okay. Excellent. Fantastic. Actually, this sucks. What am I talking about? <laughs> that didn't matter at all. A temple dagger, um, because next turn. I don't see any scenario in which we don't play Stormwind Champion, and we're probably going to need this for some uh, for somehow, or not, or not. Okay. Reporting for duty. Still clear. Why not backstab to knife juggler? I think my life is still okay for right now. None may steal. You are just the worst. You're just the worst type of person, Paladin. Fan of knives. Blade flurry. One of those. Not you. You're pretty much useless. Behold the might of storm wind. <laughs> Face tank that I go down to eight. I need the board. Give me the board! Give me the board! The board is mine! Okay. Get some value stuff. I want to use this for next turn. For the alliance. Nice. I like that. Can't take that damage anymore. Got a trade. You could do this. Hit it. Hit it. That. No, he's gonna play something big next turn. We'll use cold blood to get rid of that. So. It'll just be um it'll just be a play for next turn. I think that's fine. Yeah. Oh, not that. Not you. I will give you stuff. Cold blood and cloak on one creature maybe? You could, but you don't need it for that turn. It's just, so you could cold blood some, like, this guy, but I never want to cold blood this guy, right? You're never taking advantage of it. Oh. I see. Oh. Oh, taunt. 
beautiful, beautiful taunt. Why, why are you so beautiful, taunt? Yes! Burned Consecration. Let's go! Ten... So we, we got Lethal set up. Don't have a dumb Consecration. Don't be dumb. That should be okay. You have like a Defender of Argus? You're the dumbest. Ugh. Do we still have lethal? Ten. Yes, we do! Yeah! Oh, the alliance. <laughs> Here we go. Well played. Well played. That was intense, man. So, we fought really hard for the board there, right? Like, we just fought super hard for the board there, and we knew we had to win on the board, and we won on the board. So, I think we took the chances that we needed to take. We, um, thought we played that well. Um, you just have to take some chances. Like, uh, I know some of you guys weren't a fan of hitting the 3-4 with the dagger. Um, I just really want to keep the ogre alive, right? And you could have cold-blooded on that turn as well, but I don't want to open it up to a removal. Um, so, yeah. Valera versus Jaina. You ask for it. Watch. Back. Let's go for a faster hand. Very good board control merps. Thanks, man. Um, just gotta... Man. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't, right? And when it works out, you feel good. When it doesn't work out... Um, when it works out, you still have to evaluate. Like, what... Just what happened this turn? What exactly happened? This is actually really scary. Um, a really strong mage can definitely beat us. Uh, Flame strikes, blizzards, blizzard especially. I think blizzard is so good against their deck. Ill. Oh. Here we go. Okay. Well met. Okay. Okay, we could clear this first and then uh, we'll just play uh, Hungry Dragon. I think that's fine. I don't really see another move. Go. 
You could also backstab it and save the dagger. I could actually see us re-daggering soon. He probably has a fireball. If it's a, like I said, right? In this case, if he fireball, fireballs this, there we go. It's not that bad. Oh, oh. Start pushing some face. I'm really glad he didn't have to turn for a fireball. Like, we have a read. He just didn't have a fireball in these cards. Oh shit. Yeah. Yes. No, 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 no. You bastard. universe in which we hold the dagger one two three four five one two three four five six so we're still ahead on the board we're still ahead in cards by one but now is when the mage just gets super annoying and not so happy about this damn yeah see now is when finds something like torch just very annoying stuff Now we go into flame strike turn. You see the problem that we're at, right? We kind of... The past few moves, he's basically forced us to have, like, more drops and more drops. And this is just what the mage does super well. Like, he flame strikes here, and then we draw... Pit Snake, right? What do we do? We just... We fan of knives, and then we hope to draw into something else. But... It gets really ugly past this point onwards. Dark in. What works in the dance? Here we go. <sighs> Couldn't risk the mirror there. We test out with the one four because we don't we want to hit with uh, the other thing, right? No flame strike. Awesome. <laughs> funny. So funny. Here we go. 
go. I think that moves okay. We're still protected against Flame Strike here. He has to have Flame Strike plus something else, right? Okay. Okay. This guy is so annoying. <sighs> Didn't have AoE before. Have AoE now. Oh, I'm gonna force you to have AoE. Jeez, dude. Enough with the spiders. Okay, let's just fan anyways, right? No, not exactly. Because uh, I don't want uh, a taunt up. Let the dark Pretty good start. Not bad. I think this is how everyone wants to start the uh, 110 challenge, get 12 wins, right? You play with a strong class, but it's not bad. Easiest bet of my life. So, I, I got something bad to attack. Because my computer crashed, it didn't save the bets. So I'm really sorry for those of you who bet, but like, my computer is just terrible. Terrible, terrible. So I apologize so much, guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, but the bets don't work. Um, and I, I can't, I just can't run any bets right now.